hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i will be showing you the procedures for e6 wiring so we require a cast a twister 26 gauss wires and a cutter so e6 wiring can be used to stabilize the dento alveolar fracture in individual dental arches so i will be drawing the fracture line suppose you have a fracture from lateral incisor till lateral incisor so i am drawing this so that it will be very easy for you to understand during wiring also a 6 wiring can be used in case of luxated teeth so you need to push all the luxated tooth apically in this way so let's come back to a 6 wiring so in this type of wiring you need to remember that requirement of sufficient tooth is required on either side of the fracture line for anchorage so these are your fracture line on the lateral canine region on both this side so in each side of the fracture line you need three tooth at least one two three and one two three likewise on the other side of the fracture line here you need one two three again one two three three tooth on each side of the fracture line so now let's start with wiring pass a wire in the neck of the chosen tooth so the initial wire will pass from buccal to lingual and then again lingual to buccal side So this is your lingual wire, this will be named as your lingual wire and this is your buccal wire. I am pulling the buccal wire with the lingual wire and then I will twist both the wires. Take a cutter and cut the wire short and then tug in the wire with a needle holder in the interdental region now we are done with the lingual and the buccal wires which we have tied together take some additional wires and we will be inserting this into buccal and the lingual wires so we take a single wire now and then we insert this into the interdental region in all the tooth in between the fracture line so now i am passing a wire from the buccal wire that is from below the buccal wire you can see in the video and then i am passing it towards the lingual side here also i am passing it below the lingual wire now pull the same wire and then pass it above the lingual wire through the interdental region towards the buccal side Now you can see here the wire that has come back is above the buccal wire and the other one is below the buccal wire and now we will twist both of these wires together with a needle holder twist wire in a clockwise direction and then cut the wire short and tug it into the interdental region with a needle holder. Use an artery forceps if you find it difficult with a needle holder. Now in the same procedure we will do it for another tooth. So we are done with the same procedure on all the teeth you can see here I have done in both the central incisor and the uh, mesial side of the lateral uh, tooth and you can also see in the lingual side this is how it looks like. Thank you so much guys for watching my video please do like share subscribe and comment. Thank you. Nana side.